All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Thank you so much for joining. Also, thank you for being patient. Oh, more people joining. Welcome, Ashley. So I was just about to get started. You actually haven't missed anything, but yes. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Let me know if you can see my screen. You should see, honestly, like my whole PowerPoint screen. I'm just gonna do this because it'll help me keep pace better without my moderator. But, okay. All right, it looks like everybody's in. All right, so thank you so much for joining today. I just wanna talk a little bit about planning. I love planners, I'm obsessed. I have my happy planner that I use that a lot of people like ask me about like how I use it, why I pick it, and what I am trying to do inside the planner. So this presentation is a bit about like, I guess like how best to use your planning supplies, how to get the most out of your New Year's resolutions, or like the lot of thing you're trying to accomplish. And like I said before, this presentation is recorded, but it's just so that I can edit it and put it in the private space that I'll tell you about later on in this little informal kind of meet and greet kind of situation. So planning with Sabrina. Throughout this presentation, I'm going to talk about strategic planning. And so strategic planning is basically like when you plan over a five-year period. So this is back in the day when someone would be like, what do you see yourself in five years? That's strategic planning. Like that's setting yourself up for success so that you're walking towards where you want to be. Then the other thing I would want to talk about is annual planning, which like I said, New Year's resolutions and so on and so forth. This is trying to chart where you'll be each month of the coming year. And it's actually probably plans that if you work in some kind of corporate environment, um, you're probably pretty familiar with annual planning. You may not have done it yourself, but you're familiar with people putting out those annual plans. There's monthly planning, which, one moment, let me see, I can find my journal. Here we go. There's monthly planning, which in your journal, you normally have a page that's like the entire month, right? And then there's usually like weekly and daily and so on and so forth, right? After that, it gets granular. And then I want to talk about a book club for basically for all my girls that are like obsessed with journaling like I am and then I want to talk about what is journal to growth because I changed my cover and got some questions and I'm excited to chat with you guys about that and then just where we go from here now that we're friends and so on and so forth so I was going to introduce my my friend Jordan who you know we work together often she is one of my best friends, like I, if not, but she is my best friend, honestly. She's my best friend and we, we just to hang out together. She, she was gonna be the moderator. She's also a digital creator. She's also obsessed with journaling and has her planner and everything. She's not here, but I am Sabrina Whitaker. I'm a writer, a business consultant. I essentially help people plan and execute prof profitable projects. So they're empowered to change the world or even just themselves to accomplish whatever they're trying to do. So that's through art, culture, social engagement, right? So I really am a huge fan of the arts, even though I would consider myself more of an analyst and that numbers kind of person. So moving forward, strategic planning. I wanna go through and talk about planning first before we get into it, but it's totally fine. But yeah, so just talking about strategic planning, like I said, it's usually about a five year period. So here's a definition that you guys can read if you like, it's from nd.com. And essentially it says that it's a process used to identify goals, strategies necessary to accomplish those goals, and some processes that maybe you don't do super often, like a SWOT analysis, which stands for like strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats you're like looking for, those things because they impact your ability to succeed. Or maybe a gap analysis, which is looking for what's missing and then focusing on how to acquire that thing that you're missing. 
but yeah but i want to do like this kind of visual look just to share with you how i think about this this is one year <laughs> like this is a full year of planning which is pretty huge pretty intimidating and strategic planning is like formally defined as being like five years right it might be like a three to five year period that you're looking at so basically strategic planning is an overview of five of these notebooks and that feels like too much to do all at once even trying to fill out every page in this one-year planner is a lot of work right but if we just take it one day at a time or honestly quite frankly one week at a time here's like an example of some plans that i had already went through but if you just do your monthly view and then go and take it one week at a time all of a sudden you've broken this down into digestible chunks and it's less intimidating right so you went from thinking about three or five years at a time to thinking about one year and then you were able to get through one year by thinking about just the 12 months in that year and then one month at a time and then you're able to get through that one month by breaking it down however you need to so I think that's a really good example to explain like digestible chunks and the strategy that I use for strategic planning and that I really think that people should use for conceptualizing large projects in general. I think that's the best way to put that. So the reason why that I think is so important and to talk about journaling and planning and so on and so forth is that when you're journaling, you're like taking notes about your day, you're thinking about what you're doing. And in the moment, it may seem insignificant, but over time you can measure like how you changed, how you move towards things, how maybe you're not moving the way that you want it to. And then all of a sudden you have all the information you need for these, what seems to be huge, complicated plans that are actually very helpful and should be our leading, our guiding star, our North Star, so to speak. So that brings us to annual planning. So like I said, there's often that page in your planner that's like the full month view that some people use, some people don't use. I think it's pretty good for writing down like the appointments that you have so that on the actual planner pages, like the day, the week, however your planner looks, it really is up to you, it's your style. The planner that I use is like really modular. And, uh, yeah, I, I digress. I use the monthly view, either that comes with most standard planners or I add in some kind of paper. I add in some kind of some extra papers that help me look at things one month at a time just so that I don't miss any key upcoming events. This, for example, on my calendar <laughs> to help me to help me remember that I had to get this done and this is part of something that I want to do throughout the entire year, which again, I'll get to in a second. But but yeah, but this is part of my annual plan and this is part of what I wanted to do in January. And when I'm looking at that, that that full month view and I'm journaling about like my goals and I've already looked at my strategic goals. What can I do this year to move closer to that five-year goal and make it as easy as possible for me to get through day, day to day? So that's another thing that if I hadn't said out loud is really the point of all of this. I feel like the point of planning is so that you can just journal like your thoughts and move on with your day and just live your life. Because if you get stuck planning too much, you actually don't get anything done. You're just always planning. And then by the time you go to use your plans, the content has expired or it's not relevant, or you don't have a larger target to tie it to. So it seems insignificant, right? So I really, so yes, I use that page to think about monthly planning, which helps me do my annual planning more effectively and it helps me understand my strategic plans better. So you may have noticed the way that I'm talking about this is hierarchical. Like I'm thinking about like large time periods first, and then I'm breaking that down into smaller and smaller time periods so that on a day-to-day, -day, I'm not doing a lot of work. I just already know where I wanna go and I can just be alive, which I love my journal, I love my planner. 
but yeah, before I move on, just like some benefits of annual planning, stronger connection to the strategic plan, of course, daily practice, clear sense of direction, basically what I went over, but I didn't want to skip over that part. All right, so I mentioned this early on, but I just want to go over it again. So when I mentioned digestible chunks for the strategic plan, and then I explained that is how I am getting to a point where I can do annual planning, this really, it doesn't just apply to like huge plans. I think it applies to any complex or intimidating project, even if it's like breaking it in half and then doing one half now and then doing one half in the future. Like I'll do, let's say there's a six step project you, you need to do the first three steps are gonna take a significant amount of time, right? So you'll be like, all right, I will do one thing today maybe two things tomorrow, another thing that day, right? If you're in school, you chop up your degree into semester basis. So digestible chunks, not just like something that you can think of for planning and journaling, but just any complex intimidating project. It's a really good strategy for getting through life. You'll get so much more done than the people around you. You'll be surprised with what you can do when you just decide to take the time to think about the parts that make up what you're trying to accomplish. So I just wanna go over some tips and some tricks, right? This is the last slide before you guys can jump into chat if you wanna chat. I would love to, to talk with y'all because I wanted it to be more like a planning party and us talking about our journals and stuff. So, so this last part, this page, tips and tricks, I just wanna go over a couple of things just like to tie up the planning talk is that to remember, although five years may seem huge for strategic planning, if you keep that front and center, your annual plans will always move you towards where you're trying to go. Even if you don't reach your annual plans, even if you don't reach your monthly plans, even if you don't reach your daily plans, you'll always be walking in the right direction, right? I think that it's important to have one some kind of goal and then to keep walking towards that. Also, analyzing on a regular basis. I like to do two weeks at a time. Some people do one week at a time, so on and so forth. But whatever you do, make it consistent. Whatever you do, make it consistent. And then review that, review what's happening over time. The next thing I would recommend is developing a list of questions that you ask yourself to measure change over time. So this is actually something I do want to show you in my planner that I got this year that I actually super love. Is that, I can't read what it says probably, but this is my weekly check-in with this planner. You can have any kind of weekly check-in. People that come to me like for consulting, for example, I have like a separate check-in for those entrepreneurs, those business owners. And we ask like the same couple of questions to, to measure like change and to consider our, not just like whole logic presented by someone else, but like our own feelings, our own experiences. This one is asking what's taking up space in my head, for example, have I been selfish, dishonest, or afraid, which is a really good thing to attack, to approach, because that's where we often hide. We, all, we hide from our problems, right? So whatever it is you do, I think that just making sure that asking yourself uh, questions and then being honest with yourself consistently over a period of time, amazing. And then incentivizing your plans. One thing, because I, I, one of the things I do in my research is I look for opportunities to support women, of course, but especially like women of color, like women that are at a disadvantage in the United States. Because I'm here in Florida. If anyone is in from, if anyone has joined the call from outside of Florida, but, but yeah, you want to incentivize your plans because in this area of research that I do for women of color, a lot of times the way that we cope with plans going awry or the way that we cope with people placing additional obstacles in our way is by doing self-care. And then it can get to the point where, especially in cultures that like super encourage self-care, we can 
drown ourselves in products and drown ourselves in things that used to make us happy, that we think maybe make us happy so that we can mask the lack of progress that we've done. And then later on, we're upset about it. So instead of thoughtlessly engaging in self-care because the moment you felt upset, tying self-care to your plans, like you accomplish, let's say, three things on your priority list, which is actually the next tip. You did those three things. I just wanted to wash the dishes, wash your hair, because that's a big thing for me. <laughs> that whole process of drying curly hair and stuff. And then, you know, get an assignment done, get a blog done. That's your three things. After you get your three things for that day done, or maybe this is your three things for the week done, then engage in self-care, do whatever you want. Pour yourself some bubbly, go hang out with your friends, but just make sure that like you are like like watching yourself and you're you are both moving in the direction that you want to go and enjoying the life that you have right now. In summary, that is why I love planning and journaling so much. I believe that just these couple of thoughts, just thinking about strategic planning and then breaking that down into annual planning thinking about how you can use the various pages in your planner to just outline your roadmap for where you wanna go so that you can just focus on journaling. You can just focus on being alive. You can just focus on getting these three things done and then doing your self-care. So that's my presentation on, my general presentation on, on planning. And if y'all have any questions, or concerns I would I would love to hear what you think before I before I move on you feel free to check the chat okay so no questions which is totally fine all right so I told you guys before that I had my own plans right so one of the things that I have planned for that I guess that this meeting is a part of is an online book club, which I am super excited about. And essentially in this book club, every month I want to get together with my friends to read a book, discuss what happened in the book. It doesn't have to be super serious, but the important thing is that I connected with my friends. One of my resolutions is that I am more connected than I have been during this, you know, COVID-19 era in that I am reading consistently. And I just think that this knocks both of those, those, this checks off both of those. And so I'll do a little demonstration of that online space. Also, I want to make sure I consistently send out my newsletter last year there was like a lot of change in my life and i didn't send out my newsletter as like often as i wanted to and it was primarily because my newsletter hadn't been tied into my goals it hadn't been tied into what i was trying to do so when i was going and doing these checks every week to make sure i was making progress in the way that i wanted to that wasn't something i was tracking so it was actually pretty easy to forget it and then finally a podcast. I I'm excited about this because I'm like currently recording sessions with with my friend Jordan that I mentioned at the beginning of the presentation and I want to be able to record these with you guys. People that join the book club, people that interact with the newsletter. I want to share in that learning and that connecting and that growing journey and i just really want to promote sisterhood and i want to decrease the effects of socio-economic socio-cultural de decrease the negative effects of socio-economic social-cultural cultural factors that kind of prevent us from wanting to to move forward with our goals and uh, and yeah i'm really excited that podcast is called Journal to Growth, which in line, <laughs> in line with, with my love of planning, in line with what I'm trying to do, trying to connect. I don't just want to 
haphazardly do things, right? So I want to, I want to journal, I want to plan, I want to hang out with my friends. And that's what these things are about. That's how I'm going to connect. If you want to connect with me, this is where you'll be able to find me. Like I said, I'll do, I'll show you guys, uh, I'll give you guys more info on those things. But just to show you guys an example of some of the work I've done, because some of you guys, you know, some of you guys are new faces. So just as, I guess just as an example, or just to speak a little bit more about myself before I move on to that book club. I like to create and edit content. I'm a writer. Again, like I said in the beginning, I'm a business analyst. And I have a degree in the intersection of business and culture from the University of North Florida. And I plan to pursue a master's of business analytics. And my minor was digital marketing. And so digital marketing and the intersection of business and culture and business analytics, all that together so that I can help entrepreneurs and busy professionals plan to do the thing that they want to do more efficiently and effectively. So not just to follow the plan set out by somebody else, but to create like your own plans and then get those done. I love that. Like, that's what I study. That's what I do. That's my life. On the other side of, of this presentation, you see an example of a course outline from a course that I taught about two years ago when I started putting these online courses online. And this one is basically an introduction to entrepreneurial entre, entrepreneurial thinking. I'm tongue tied, y'all. And then this is just another, some more screenshots of that online book club I told you about. And then this is the podcast cover, Journal to Growth, where I want to read, write, chat, rise, hustle, rest, grow. All those concepts that I talked about like through this. Oh, hey, Jory. Hey, girl, hey. Yeah, all those things that I talked about throughout this, this presentation. Yeah, I just, I want to make sure that everything that I'm doing is walking towards the person that I want to be. And I want to provide you with as many tools and resources as I can to make sure that you're walking towards the person that you want to be so that you don't wake up number 2023 upset that the year didn't go how you expected it to. I saw so many posts like these past couple of weeks about how unhappy people were and how like next year was going to be a dud too. And most of that is because they don't, they didn't make a change. They didn't make a plan. So they never made a change. They just kept doing what they were doing and they got the same results. So I don't want that to happen to you. So thank you for making it to the end of this second half of the presentation. This is how you can contact me so again I'll I will it, you can I'm friendly so I will share this information with you anytime I'm not going to linger here too long but if you want to you can take a second to write down my email or my phone number you can text me don't call me because I'm not going to answer but you can text me and just say hey I'm and I'll text you back if there's there's no context then Maybe not, but just make sure. And if you want to send an email, maybe you, there's like a project you want to do, or maybe there's some way you think I can help, then feel free. So I'm going to stop screen sharing. And so, so that I can bring up this book club. While we're waiting, can you hear me, Brina? Oh, yes. Okay. I'm sorry. I was having technical difficulties. Girl, my phone was not working. Nothing was working. Okay. But I'm sorry. Sorry that I'm late. But I'm like, I'm super excited about this book club. I'm not even going to lie. I've been needing to get back into reading books and all that extra stuff because I was reading in high school and then life happened. Long coming train. So I'm super excited about that too. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. I'm glad you made it. I was a little, I was a little sad. I was like, all right, I guess she's not able to make it. But it was, my best okay, friend. I swear, like I'm clicking on this link and it, my phone wasn't working and it's saying that I'm locked out. I tried to reset my password. I was just like, are you kidding? Yeah, I was trying to get it oh. on it, like on my iPad, my phone, and my computer, and like my all of them were being out. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm late, but I'm here. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no, it's totally fine. It's totally fine. Thank you for taking a moment to say something, everybody. This is Jordan. I frequently work with Jordan 
to create things because she's a digital content creator and she's also a writer. She's actually written her own book called 25, which is awesome. Yay. I bought it. It's like a book of poems because Jordan is very poetic, but she, and she's very interested in the mental health of women and and espe especially like women of color. And she's interested in kind of the same things that I am, which is providing friends and I guess the people that support us with support. Like for her, it's mental health advocacy. And for me, it's usually some kind of, some kind of essay <laughs> detailing some business analysis thing. Like I mentioned SWOT analysis and, and gap analysis earlier. I'm normally doing something like that. Oh, thank you for the heart. Love you too, Ashley. All right, so I'm gonna go back and share my screen actually. All right, so can I get like a thumbs up or like a chat message or something to let me know that you guys can see this book club? Thank you so much, I appreciate it. All right, so this is, I just wanna do an overview of the online space that I created for this book club and that I believe that aligns with my strategic plans my annual plans, my daily, what I want to do, which is connect with my friends and read more often. Inside of this book club, there's a couple of things that you can do. So one of them, the most important part of it, is the 12 months of literacy. So each month there is a challenge that you can complete. So this month I want to read, <laughs> so I'll bring it out. I want to read a book called An, Un An Economist Walks Into a Brothel. I totally understand if you guys can't get this book finished this month. I have some other options as well because it's January's already started. But, but yeah, but there's a challenge every month. There's no penalty for not completing a challenge, but you will miss out on the, on the community aspect of it, which kind of defeats the purpose. You don't have to do every month. You do it as you're able to. You're not going to be shamed. But yeah, you can go into these challenges and keep people accountable. Like not, they will keep you account accountable. When people know about your goals, when people know about what you're trying to do, they'll ask you about it. And then you go, oh, I got to do that real quick. Oh yeah, I hadn't gotten to it yet. But if you really care, you're going to make it happen, right? So that's what this space is for. There are also other types of challenges like the gratitude challenge. So this one, for example, just says every day in your journal, we're talking a lot about planning and journaling and how reading, writing and connecting with others is gonna allow us to build that life that we wanna build. This 12 months of gratitude, I believe is gonna get you there. I am such a huge intentionality person. I'm such a huge do it on purpose person. If you want it, manifest it. I just really, I would love to have you guys um, a part of that. So those are the first two challenges that, that I've built in this space. And then there's also additional challenges that just pop up that are connected to videos or lessons that you can participate in at will. And so a couple that I have here are other lectures that I've done. So one of those lectures is called Exploration of Business Ethics and Government in the United States, which is important to me in the research that I do, right? So if you wanted to talk to me about something that was important to me because you saw that it was connected to something that was important to you, that's a great opportunity, right? To start a discussion in the community. And those discussions can either happen here uh, within the challenges or in these circles, right? So there's a couple of different circles. Novel experiences exist to talk about what book we want to read next. We actually don't have to read all that. We don't have to all read the same book as long as at least two people inside the club are reading that book and you're able to have a discussion. It's totally fine. So in here, we can talk about what books we want to read, right? Do we want to read The Light We Carry by Michelle Obama, right? Do we want to read <laughs> An Economist Walks Into a Brothel by Alison Schrager, right? Basic discussion and then advanced discussion, which I can explain in a second. This basically means I just want to do just a little bit, just real chill type vibes. Advanced discussion is, okay, this month, I'm feeling like getting into it more. Maybe I'll do some additional challenges, right? 
this business analysis area I've added just for people that are into business analysis. I know that's not everybody, but I wanted to have it available. So this is actually closed off by default, but if you wanna join this, you can ask me how. And then of course there's a Q and A because I don't want you to be confused about what you're doing while you're in here, which brings me to my favorite part of the entire book club, the resources area. I told you before when I was doing the presentation about strategic planning and and how that enables me to live in the moment throughout the day it, and just focus on journaling and friendship and connecting and you know and what I want to do in that moment I told you that I used to do online courses right and used to is really honestly still do now I facilitate these courses the development of these courses for a local university but yeah, you know, so I don't, I don't sell them, but I do build them and put them inside of <laughs> other things that I do because I'm obsessed. I love, I like. Some of y'all know me. Y'all know I'm like obsessed with writing and planning and journaling and all that. But, but yeah, for real, I'm obsessed. So here in this resources area, I put a course to explain to you how to navigate so that you don't feel. You don't feel like you're unable to, you're you're unable to figure out how to get through it. So there's a we appreciate you. There's a you meet your instructor. There's an explanation of what a book club is, and then like I said, that basic 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 involvement, which you can find your general book club questions. It tells you what we require from you, which is only two things, which is just get the book and then participate in the discussion, which is you know the point of it, and then. Again, that advanced involvement is journaling, habit tracking, which I've written guides for, and we can get into the nitty gritty. We can jump on extra calls to talk about that. And then newsletter, podcast, and then you can unlock this advanced topics actually like by participating in the book club more. And that's where you'll be able to find those downloadable items. And so meetups, we can actually create we can just jump into live rooms throughout the month unplanned we can or we can just schedule like today <laughs> schedule meetups for either to talk about the book club or to talk about maybe specific chapters specific things happening in our life that relate to what we want to read about next or what we want to journal about next or just what we want to talk to our friends about so this is that that online book club that i'm super excited about and yeah you guys can get into this space now really the only thing that you need to do to join is so i'm going to put this over here so really the only thing you would need to do to join would be to register so it's an this online book club that i just showed to you is hosted on my website because i built it into my website so you would just have to register for an account so if i logged out of this it would basically ask you for email address full name right if you want to subscribe to the list, it gives you an overview of the book club. If you need help logging in, there's a knowledge article at the bottom of this to help you. There's an overview if, you know, you just want to see it again. And it goes through that space similar to how I did just now, but more refined because it's an edited video. But yeah, so some frequently asked questions that I put here just because while I was building this obviously I was consulting with my friends and so one of the questions I got was how many how much time and energy do I need to commit really a 300 page book takes about eight hours so throughout the whole month it might be two hours a week this month we don't have the first you know we don't have the first week so it would be a little sped up about two hours a week really and then if you crave interaction you can be in the online space as much as you want the we only have to really meet once a month and so here's some examples of these books this is a book that i really love that's about project management essentially but it's applying it to both your life and maybe your business your hobbies so on and so forth i'm 
having studied the intersection of business and culture and that being what I graduated in, like this is exactly the kind of thing that I like. And so all the books that I choose, I wanna make sure are available on, yeah. All the books I choose, I wanna make sure are available on audi Audible in addition to in print so that, you know, it's accessible to everyone. Ah, here she goes, that's the one I need. Yeah, we'll do it, honestly. And that's actually the reason why I prefer two week sprints instead of one week reviews. Girl, there's so much to talk about. Yeah, so that's like what you can expect. That's that overview again. Here's that KB article again. This is just what can I expect, but you've been here talking to me, so you know. But yeah, and this is just a sign up for the newsletter. But yeah, so I put a lot of information on my website. And if you guys have not visited my website yet, like you can get a lot more information about all these different things that that I've been chatting about. You can provide context for the people that may not have known me before this call. You can go find testimonials from people. You can go find examples of my work. You can check out my projects, which I think are pretty cool, but I made them so maybe some bias links to social like anything that you might need you know it's, it's here so that podcast all right are not so, limited to business mute all right you guys one more screen share and it's gonna pick the wrong screen that's okay because should have moved this stuff to my main screen, but I like this one better. But um, but yeah, on this YouTube channel, which I created to tie into that online book club space, you'll be able to find some videos with lectures about things that I study and what I'm doing. I'm gonna continue to add these as we go throughout the year. Like you'll see these pop up in the online space. Like basically all the things I do on the outside, you'll see popping up in the online space. But what I would love for you guys to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, of course, if you're going to be a part of this, and then answer this question for me. Like, I would love it if you guys let me know what you would like to see in the next video so that I can create content for the people that, you know, are interacting. So journaling, project management, or college life, because like I said, I work at a university at one of my many roles is that of a training coordinator for faculty. So I facilitate training for the professors that teach those students. So I'm very interested in and very concerned with college life. But so I'm really excited about that. And yeah. All right. So since there have been no questions and just a bunch of very kind messages in the chat, then I will let y'all go. I love y'all to pieces. And I cannot wait for the next time we meet up. I cannot wait to see who joins the book club. So I love y'all. Thank you. And oh, yeah, I love you too, Ashley. Yeah, I love y'all. Thank you. And yes, I am. I'm over the moon. Let's end on a high note. <laughs>